So have you ever had a fever? So that's inflammation, but it's the good kind. It's part of your immune system's targeted emergency response to things like infection or injury. Blood vessels dilate, your body temperature may increase, and immune cells flood in. This allows your body to contain the threat, potentially kill off any microbes, and get rid of damaged tissue. So here we can see after an initial threat like an infection, we want a nice strong immune inflammatory response to clear that infection, but we want to quickly move into this resolution and repair phase so the body can rebuild. If that doesn't happen, we can get into the situation of chronic low-grade inflammation. And this is the driver behind things like weight gain, fatigue, and most chronic diseases. So how can we support a healthy immune and inflammatory response? Number one is darkness at night. So melatonin is not just for sleep. It's a really potent antioxidant and immune system regulator. In darkness, it helps fight infection, clear early cancer cells, and help to bring that inflammation to the resolution phase. If we have screens before bed and bright lights, we don't get that melatonin release and we weaken our immune system. Number two is vitamin C with bioflavonoids in their natural form. Things like quercetin and anthocyanins with vitamin C, these are found in fresh or freeze-dried berries. And what they do is help to promote an initial nice strong immune response, but again help to resolve that inflammation so it doesn't become chronic. So remember, inflammation is essential when it's acute and targeted, but it's vital to give our body the right signals so we know when to switch it off.